Kalau ni kita akan tengok macam mana kena prep sebelum kita dah fikir model. In this lab, we are using two types of gel. That is for the application of chrome cobalt refractory cast, especially for phosphate bonded investment. And another one is gypsum application work. If you want to use this gel, make sure you use the right one. If not, it will not work with multiple issue. Even the working temperature and melting temperature are different to each other. Each of this machine is set to follow the characteristic of the gel specifically. And the gel are composed to make sure it works specifically to each of this material, investment material. Cut the gel into small pieces like this and after you fill it up, press the button T1 on the machine. It is to restart the machine working cycle to melt the gel. The gel will be heat up to 96 degrees Celsius for some time to melt all the gel that we cut into the tube and after that the machine will cool it down to 54 to 56 degrees celsius and that is the working temperature for us to cast the gel into the gel flask Celsius degree. It's about 96 Celsius de degree. It's about 96 degrees Celsius. So it's about it's too high, but the working temperature is about 54 degrees Celsius only. Uh, khasnya menggunakan gel. So sebelum kita dah pikir model tu, kan? Make sure model ni kita buat cantik-cantik tu. Oh, supaya nanti bila dah fikir, tak gaduh nak trim lain lah. Memang dah cantik dah. Ha? Ada bentuk dia semua. Haa. Uh. Dan, uh, so untuk kes ni. Kita akan dah So, tengok. Yang ni pun. Rendam dia lebih kurang dalam masa... Uh, 5 minit cukup lah. 5 minit, 10 minit. Kita nak elakkan daripada bubble keluar. Masa... Apa... Kita... Tuang gel tu. So, yang ada cuma air, air saja, Ayak saja, Daripada uh, model tu. So, daripada model tu tak keluar ayak. Itu mengurangkan bubble dekat permukaan gel yang akan beku nanti. Sebab tu kita kena ayak. Sebab tu kita kena rendam lama juga. Bukan seminit dua, bukan basah. Tapi memang kena rendam. Okay, lepas rendam tu. Kita keluarkan. Buang lebih-lebih ayak ni. Terus kita nak tuang gel. 
que yo. As you can see, here is the two variants of flask available. Plastic made flask and aluminum flask with rubber base. Please do not afraid and hesitate to use any of these flasks. Just make sure your model have enough space uh, for the flask and the gel in the flask. So let's see how you uh, position the model in the uh, flask. So make sure it's center. So make sure uh, you put the model in the center. Make sure you have space for the flask. And gel itself, the thickness of the gel is important. Uh, for you when you try to um, extract the model from the mold make sure you align properly then put it like this make sure your model doesn't move the base Close it slowly. Okay. Alright. Let's move to do another one. Okay. Because I like this. Make sure you, make sure you use the right uh, template for this one. If this one, uh, it is uh, go beyond the line, the template line, so you can just change it with a uh, larger template. See, it will help you to open the model, the step model from the mold. So close it, and let's cast the gel. Yeah. Okay, so you have to. Okay, the more now. To top me. And we some more to top. And we put to top. Okay. Jump to two and gel. Masa buka ni, kena kontrol dia elok Jangan bagi lebih banyak sangat Alright So make sure you align With the uh, funnel and you can check it should be a little bit behind from the funnel this is straight one see make sure it's a little bit behind let's see how it goes It's 
not drop directly and just put it behind so you masuk betul betul eh ok you dah penuh Okay, ngam ngam. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Ok next, kita akan ambil yang seterusnya Kita tengok daripada atas pula Buangan daripada atas Kita okay, lebih sikit apa dengan limpah banyak sangat. Okey. Kita buat tuangan, pastikan suhu pada 54 darjah Celsius. Uh, kalau tak nanti dia akan kalau rendah sangat dia akan jadi pekat sangat kalau dia panas sangat apabila dia mengecut dia uh, apabila dia sejuk dia akan mengecut banyak so kita nak mengurangkan uh, kadar kecutan dan kita nak buat tuangan tu pada keadaan yang paling tepat ok ok next last one Align betul-betul dulu Kita tuang Model ni pastikan biar duduk tengah-tengah ha? Jangan duduk tepi sangat atau te Ataupun uh, tepi sangat lah Sebab tepi tu gel tu Mempunyai uh, ketebalan yang uh, Cukup Apabila kita nak tarik model ni Dia tak perlu Dia tak Dia tahan Supaya tak, tak koyok Dia tak mudah koyok
Ok dah melimpah banyak sangat Tak apa Kita dah buat dah pun Okay, setelah tuangan saya dibuat Kita akan menunggu Lebih kurang sejam setengah Sehingga kedua kedua jam Sehingga dia se, uh, Turun suhu dia ke suhu bilik Apabila dia sampai pada Keadaan suhu bilik Baru kita buat Kita buka Model yang ada tu Dan kita guna Gel ni untuk dah pikir nah, Setelah sejam setengah jadi setelah uh, sejam hingga ke sejam setengah Ada sampai dua jam Jangan lama sangat Takut nanti model ni dia menjadi kecut Kecut sebab Air, kadar air dalam dia telah uh, Berkurang Sebab dia antara bahan asas dia adalah Air Okay As you can see The gel uh, Already have a shrink cage not long, it's about only 10 minutes you can see the sink rate of the gel uh, that's why you have to use the proper temperature when you cast the gel if it is uh, too high the, the shrinkage and error are too much to compensate uh, the duplication and the model right The gel already uh, cool down and set. It's about one half, one and a half hour. Let's go open it. Okay, first you take out the base first. Then remove the excess gel. After you remove uh, the excess gel and take out the gel from the flask. Then slowly cut the gel to make sure it is easier to take out the, to extract the model. Okay, so then, if you have a uh, air pressure, you can use air pressure, if not, just slowly push this inward, like this, and then, take it out, like this. See, you are done with the the picket, and we put it back before we pour the stone. So this is how the gel look like after the picket. Then after this, we pour the stone. Let's do uh, the other flask. All right. For the next one, same, we take out the, the base first and 
this is the template we have then take it out with the gel inside and then take it out template so see with the, te the template helps you make it easier to extract the model so just cut it a little bit for your finger spacing without uh, tearing the gel that's why we make the space like that and take it out another one here and another one here so just push that uh, the other one push slowly like this like this this and your finger here and you push it then take it up like this Put it back in the mold. Put it back in the flask. Replicate. So after this, we're going to cast this one with stone. So let's continue with the pouring. Okay. So. Right. Let's take it out and let's for the gel here okay as you can see uh, the shining on the uh, gel is because I, I put uh, some water to make it uh, the stone flow better Make sure you put it uh, beside the teeth. Do not put on the teeth because uh, the bubble might trap on the teeth surface. It's uh, harder to on the bubble to uh, flow out and the spoon I cover the part in the air and the teeth and the teeth area Uh, 
as you can see after you uh, extract the model you duplicate with the uh, tinted stone tinted plaster make sure you clean up the gel do not leave it like this because it will mix up with the other gel when you try to uh, melt it in the machine so just clean up like this so the stone uh, remove properly So you done clean up then you put it in the uh, material container but before that you cannot put it in the material container the gel container please make sure you clean up properly okay done So after you uh, extract and put the gel on the container, make sure you put the flask at the right place. So this one up here, and this one here, and this one, and this one here. Then uh, for the other plus, only just two part. Just put it here and the base here. Make sure you clean up the plus before you uh, store it at the proper proper place. And let's take this another one. 